we represent um, all different regions of settlements where people were um, in Russia. You know, the Volga area, which is your area down here, there's a lot of Volga Germans, of course, in Hayes, in the Black Sea area, the Ukraine, Moldova, Bukovina, um, you know, Bessarabia, the Caucasus, many, many different areas. It's really important because we don't want to forget. We have a rich heritage and um, we want to be around for many, many years. Uh, sustainability is a key element. We want to be here for future generations to be able to do research, to be able to find out about their families and about their histories. And so it is imperative that we work to stay um, viable and be there for people. And we have fun while we're doing it on top of it. Well, ready? Better this morning and learned how to, to make sauerkraut and um, learning about life on a farm. We live on a farm, but they're learning about um, what it used to be like for their grandma and grandpas. The music and the dancing and some of the food, they weren't sure about the sauerkraut. <laughs> so, but they were excited to learn about some of those traditions. That's great. And so you said you homeschool. So how do you yeah. incorporate that into their lessons? Um, well, like I said, we're starting off our school year by doing this today. Um, and then when we get home, we'll probably, the, we, before we came, we looked at where Germany was at and talked about their great grandparents and how they got here. And um, eventually in the school year, we'll, we'll probably do a unit on, on Europe. We've had tours that we've had of the areas around Hayes. We did a village tour of the churches and the different villages around. Uh, an artisan tour where uh, people were able to meet um, and go to Pete Felton's studio. Wow. And we have a copy of the statue that's in Victoria in Lincoln. Oh. And so that's pretty thrilling for people who've seen that one to be able to see you know, the original in Victoria. Cooking classes as well. Oh. Doing some things on Maltashen and uh, uh, Kadovel and glaze, uh, potatoes and dumplings, and um, some German Christmas cookies. And it's just a little something for everyone.